How's it going, guys? Um, hopefully, you had an opportunity to play around with the biking simulation. Um, here, I have an example of something that a student did in class today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this example and actually show you how you can make corrections or how you can look for imperfections within your your chart now for example this individual took a screenshot of their chart as you can see right here it's literally just a snip of the screenshot and she just pasted it into um, a google doc which is great um, this is exactly what i wanted you to do uh, for an extra credit opportunity the reason why this is going to be considered an extra credit opportunity is because if there's anything that you get right on this opportunity right now I and you send it to me before we actually do the actual project, I will give you plus points going towards this. Um, so this particular individual will basically have me grading it and I will record it and then show it out to the rest of the class so everyone can see what I'm looking for as far as expectations are concerned. So this is just a screenshot like I showed. What we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the path. And as we can see here, it goes up and then it turns right around and then it goes straight for a little bit. Then it goes up, then it goes straight. And then it goes up again, much a little, a little bit more steeper. Then flat lines again, straight across. Then up, then back down then up and then it goes across and this huge deep dive and then increasing in um, acceleration again at the very beginning or at the very end and then a flat line this is more or less like added information that we don't necessarily need they actually explain down here in the steps that this was something that kind of went wonky with their mouse so we're not even going to pay attention to this all we really care about is like up through this flat line piece right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look at their data um, and we can't change this image right here but what we can change is the explanation for what's going on here so number one says she starts by getting on the bicycle and we can see that right here in this position right here so this could be considered like section a to b which is right at the very bottom and that looks great so i'm going to come over here and a to b and you know this is indicated by when you're getting on a bike you are not moving so you're not moving from this point and that's right along the x-axis here okay so then she starts to accelerate now this is a part that this is a mistake okay this is a position versus time graph yes we can see acceleration we see acceleration when we see the line not being straight now as you can see here there's always going to be some slight imperfections in we can't have a straight line always on your project you guys are going to be required to have straight lines so that way it shows that you're not accelerating if you are accelerating though the line will be curved so follow my cursor if you're down here the line will curve up that will be an, a sign that we have acceleration okay but when we're dealing with a position versus time graph, we should see a straight line for the most part. And that's actually what we do see. So um, between this point right here, okay, this point right there to this point right here, this point would be B and this point all the way up here would be C. And that is a very straight line. So what this would imply is that this person's going at a consistent speed. The slope is very linear, okay? And they are going at a very consistent speed. 
So I'm going to label this from B to C, the person starts going in the positive direction, okay? So come up here, change this, B to C, the biker has a very steep slope. This implies they are moving fast. And actually, I'm going to change that to just say steep slope. And the reason for that is because if I look at this slope right here and compare it with, for example, this slope, this slope is much steeper. So I am going to say that this is very steep and then this one's just steep. Now, if we notice at the very top of this position, okay, this individual goes back. They come back to the home position, okay? So if this was their house, then that means that they came back to that relative same location against their house. So we are going, uh, they're getting on their bike, they're riding away from their house, and then they're like, oh, no, I forgot something. So they turn around and come back to the house. Okay. So for number three here, let's read what they actually decided to put. All right. So number three says she realizes um, or realizes she forgot her house key on the driveway. And that sounds like a perfectly reasonable explanation. I've done this myself. So C to D, we are going to, um, we are going to uh, basically go back or the biker realizes they left their keys in the driveway and goes back home at the same speed they left from the driveway. Okay, so then we can go back up to number two. And it says here, the biker has a steep slope. This implies they are moving fast. So we can say the biker has um, a steep slope. They are moving fast away from their driveway. And then down here, the biker realizes that they left their keys in their driveway. They go back home at the same speed they left from the driveway. And to indicate that, we can just say, um, comma points B to C. So if we look at this, and I'm just showing you a couple of these, but basically they are sitting here, they're on their bike, they're not moving, they start riding away. And they're like, oh no, I forgot it. Okay, they're probably thinking that they didn't have them or they're feeling around in their pockets and they realize they didn't have it. So they do a U-turn, they come back. Okay, they get it at the, they get it at the, um, they get the, the, get to the driveway and they pick up the keys. And so now they have to spend a certain amount of time to get the keys. Okay. So they get off their bike or maybe they just like bend over, pick up the keys, and then they go back in the direction that they were going. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down here. Okay. Um, so um, B, uh, C to D would have been from here to here. So then um, D to E, okay, D, oops, let me change the text here. D to E would be equal to, um, and what they said here goes back to her house to pick up her keys. So she's actually already at her house. Once you get to D, she's already at her house. So in this place, this we could change this to say that um, she is in the process 
of picking up her keys. So she's already there. Um, so what you should do is you should like kind of go through your graph and make sure that the story makes sense. And like I said, if you wanted to, something that you could do is give like a relative, you know, speedometer, okay? So, uh, or reading for how fast you think like maybe you're riding your bike. So um, you're getting on your bike, you're not moving. This would imply that you're going zero meters per second. Perfect, okay? Um, then over here for number two, um, from B to C, the biker has a steep slope. This implies they're moving fast away from their driveway. And we're gonna say five meters per second. And because we're going this direction, we can decide what direction that's gonna be. I'm gonna call this east, all right? And then if she does a, a turnaround from C to D, the biker realizes they left their keys in the driveway and goes back home at the same speed they left from the driveway. This is points B to C. Um, and we can say, um, this is five meters per second, but we can say west now, which is in the opposite direction. Now, the slope of this would have been positive, okay? And the slope of this would have been negative. So if you wanted to, you could even put down here a negative sign in front, which would imply that we're going downwards, okay? But we can also imply that with the direction, okay? So east, and then this is west, all right? Um, so we're just changing our direction here, okay? And then uh, the last part here, she is in the process of picking up her keys. So, you know, based off of this, um, you know, she would not be moving, okay? And so therefore that would also be zero meters per second. Now I'm gonna change this. Um, instead of you, she is not moving. Okay, so this is a nice little way of representing this. I'm not gonna do all of this for this student, but now you have an understanding of like what I am looking for when you are trying to turn these in. Um, again, I'm gonna collect these like next week sometime uh, for you, I'll give you a little bit better understanding. On Monday, we're gonna go through some of the data um, that we collected. Uh, fourth hour, since you weren't able to collect the data, I'm gonna create um, false data for you and you will just use that data. Um, but this is a great example um, from a student in fourth hour who did a really good job um, with this and just needs to clean up some things. So uh, good job and hopefully,